Hi guys, um, welcome to another tutorial video. Very requested, stamps. Who wants to make stamps with me? I like stamps. Who wants stamps? Let's make some stamps. Um, okay, so I've cut out all the really, really, really hard work for you and made a um, stamp sample example thingy. So I'll put this on my website. All you've got to do is download it and I have pretty much done everything the hard work of finding this the the stamp brush for you so just like um my stencil thingy majiggy you got to go to um hash generator and we're gonna make a stamp you're gonna type in this is clearly something there we go so we're going to highlight the the last fnv64 and that will be our hash so we go to pet coat brush first we go to instance we paste our um our fn64 then we paste it in here and we paste it in here now you must change uh these two so you're going to change your last number to whatever you want it can be a letter or it can be a number so I'm going to change it to one because it's image one and then same goes with this this could be a number or a letter and I'm going to change that two so instead of seven like you have here I've changed it one two so now here's where it gets a bit complicated and I need to remember what I was doing I'm just going to check these things Right, so now we have our instances. I am going to have a panic attack in a second. I just need to double check. Okay, rude. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just open this up again in a different window. Okay, so because I'm very forgetful. What you want, the image one, image two, it's, it's, they're not called thumbnail or whichever, which makes this a bit more difficult. So I've got to match with whatever's, with whatever's what. So your image one is going to be, my word, this might get a bit complicated, but that's fine. So, image one is going to be obviously. Why is this not? Right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right. So, image one, we're going to copy that number and we're going to paste it into our. into our DST image, which is our actual stamp that we're going to make and we're going to paste that into our instance so image one is your actual stamp now this is the thumbnail of the stamp so this would be control c control v put that into that instance that's going to be your image two so they need to be matching like as you can see here i'll leave this up here for a second so it in theory should make sense so image one is your actual stamp image two is your thumb right now we need to edit now you might think oh it's the same as the stencil it really isn't I found out the hard way this needs to be a PNG this needs to be just like your stamp so I'm going to go into this lovely place here I've already created my stamp um, but we're just gonna, uh, I don't know, we're just gonna add something, like, something a bit distinguishable. Um, I don't know, um, sad face, because that seems like a legitimate stamp, and obviously merge down, make sure it's all just one layer. So file, export as stamp sample, which you don't have to call it that, you can stamp, stamp sample one, Make sure the format is L8. This is very important. Same with this. I'm just so lazy. So I'm just going to 
gonna highlight this whole thing. Control C and be like, oh, Control V. No. no, 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 I can't do that because this the background has to be clear. So I'm just going to erase that. So make sure this background is tran is transparent in in what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to. Why does it always go to sixty? So I'm going to do my oh clipped area. Right. So now I'm going to do my stencil unhappy face. Oh look at that. And then unhappy face with the blob. With a really tiny blob. That works. So obviously make sure you have merged down. Now this is where it's very important export as png all right don't ask me why this one has to be png it is what it is i exported it as a dds and my partner tested it in his game don't worry about these settings just make sure the same is fine and it was like absolutely not i don't want to be a png thumbnail so now it we're going to there we go see now it's lacking and then we're going to do the same here, where it's, I promise you, I'm going to find this. Where did I sit? At that moment, I to cry because you are very, ah, oh my word, I had the wrong thing. So make sure you select the yes. So we're going to go to our stamp sample one. There we go, unhappy face. Oh, right. Now that you've done this and created this, you can, I mean, you can make sure your numbers are matching. This is always very important or else you're just going to have a bad time. I'm going to save this. I overrip my, uh, my original stamp sample, but that's fine. I'm going to copy. I'm going to just put this in my mods. All right, at least this way, everybody will have an unhappy bit. Now, I'm I'm just going to test it. Um, you can stay for this part. You don't really have to stay for this part, but I like to just test, show the audience that in fact the modification does work. I know what I'm doing. I'm not that much of a dum-dum, but you know, it is what it is. Steam, Steam, I really love the fact that you get to notify me, force open everything, and just cry. Like, oh, The Sims 4 needs an update. We will be back with a short intermission. Okay, is this doing the thing? Yeah, okay, it's doing the thing. So, let's load up and check our stamp. Oh, my back is killing me. I'm sitting straight to it. That's fine. Um, I'm trying to keep this video as quick and as short as I possibly can because I know th I hate the whole 10 minute upload limit thing with Jiggy because, you know, YouTube has changed so much dramatically. Come on, Sims! I've got a couple of minutes! Okay, so, just going to go to World Editor, just go to Magic World. I'm just going to quickly create a new horse just so I can show you the stamp thing. <sighs> Come on, like, create new household. Yes, that's good, Tom. Very weird looking. Oh, okay. Oh, would you look at that? It's my it's my hair color that I'm still trying to get to work. Anyway, so I have a couple minutes, right? Um. So we're just going to go to paint mode, go to our stamp selection, and it should be there. It is. There's my unhappy face. <laughs> Obviously. You can see. There you go. My stamp worked. Oh, look, you could do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If um, if you guys want anything, is butterflying. Oh, paint him. Okay. All right. Let's let's do some. Ooh. Okay. What's going on? Anyway, so I hope everybody has enjoyed the uh, tutorial. And uh, if anybody wants a tutorial, anything 